Okay guys, as many should see now I've now got my review of the Xbox 360 up on YouTube. So and now I'm going to give you a review of my favourite 360 games, uh, Bully Scotch Edition for Xbox 360. And as many people know, Bully was released for the PS2 back in 2006 with Kim's Care Meta, as it was known in the PAL region, because the, and it got a lot of very good reviews as well as attracted controversy over its title being just simply Bully and its type of gameplay of you beating up school kids and all the violence in it. And I'm going to give you a video review of the revamped Scottish edition released for the 360 and Wii and PC. So I've just got the game in the disc tray, I've got the tray open so I have to close the tray. Reading. Why? Play the hard drive because it runs faster and is the 360 does not sound like a jet engine now. We have that if you choose to install your 360 games to the hard drive. So I can't get the camera to sit up straight, so the top might be a bit cut off. And let's do it that way. I'll try to do it that way instead. So you have story multiplayer. Multiplayer is the new co-op mode. It's only been offline, there's no one I play because it does say somewhere down there. In not all interested. This game does not support Xbox Live. So the it's not basically co-op, it's just mini games you play. So like once play once during play two is Gary. That's how it works, but in the story mode because so it's yeah, this where you've got this game saved, which is hard drive of course. Me. So load in. Fairly quick since the game's on my hard drive, it's playing from the hard drive, not the disc. So here we are in the principal's office, so that's where I just got busted for beating up prefix, so that's not really fun to do. Uh, so this is, so the game is set again at Intergame Ball Academy, so it's the same game, it's not a sequel. So you just play as Jimmy Hopkins, 15 year old Jimmy Hopkins, dumped at Ball Academy by his, by his bitch of a mom, his bastard of a stepdad, and just had to try and get used to go through adolescence no, with no parents. At this boarding school, you to try and help up different cliques like nerds, bullies, etc. Nerds, bullies, preppies, greasers, townies, etc. The story is very fun, it's quite long, it's split into five chapters, each chapter you have a different clique. And I didn't even know you could get a rash there! Yeah, I wouldn't have one. Alright! You need to catch me first! Mm. Well, I can't, can I? Okay, what do you think of this? In the bin. Aw, oh, breath. Come on. Hop to it. There, so he's gone. So, this is, um, it's a school. The other side. Schoolyard, you can just go up to anything pretty much. No prefix you wish, you can tag rules. So, just like that. So, the prefix will catch you. It'll catch you. So, you can beat up people if you wish, you can just take them down from the Y, just B, give a piece of balls. And just give us X to the X to the Kitchen. Learn new moves in gym class, so from a bomb who lives beyond the, on the school bus, so you find a red and teach you new moves. So go car here, which is only a good vehicle against the game, so you can't steal cars. You can get bikes, go karts, and a skateboard. So, you can get a 
kiss girls for extra health, so I'm recording you! Go to hot girl. Let's find a hot girl first. I'm so sorry, I'm so glad to see you. Hey, I have something to show you. Hey, sweet talker. Like me. I'll task you to uh, the ability to be to talk to girls. English task you to be able to talk about fights. And maths, maths gives you. Yeah, so in the game, uh, in the sort of position, there's eight new missions, four new classes, four new music, math, geography. There are four new characters, but I, don't, I think there's only two, that's just the music and the geography teacher. I haven't seen any new characters since then. Uh, the two player new games, as I explained earlier, and new new awards you can earn as well, sophisticated really achievements. And if you're wondering like, what's the difference between both versions, um, 360 and Wii, well, the 360 version obviously has better graphics, obviously it could do HD. Uh, it's better controls, since the Wii motion sensitivity is a bit laggy in the mobile types and things like aiming a slingshot, but when you punch, when you fight on the Wii, that's pretty more dynamic. And of course, the graphics on the Wii are exactly exactly like the PS2. So you play the game on the PS2, you get the Wii. There's no way that can change. You know, it's in the Wii box, it's got better graphics. You know, it's the same. The 360 version's got better graphics, and the Wii version's got better gameplay. Because it's more because of the sensitivity. So it's fat there, yeah. Oops, sorry, man. Me and Nox have seen nothing good today. So yeah, that's pretty scotch version, really. Great game. If you the PS2 or you have the PS2, it may, it'll, it'll be very easy for you to go through again just for the new features, but you haven't played before. It's a really great game. It's something that's GTA style, but it's not GTA, <laughs> if, you know, if you know what I mean. So, highly recommended. So, oh, the 360 version has got a few glitches on the list. This game has me six times, and then I had a couple of months, so that's a bit bad. But, however, the game is still great without the glitches, and it doesn't freeze very often. But, I'm going to open and get it, because it's a sweet game, guys. So, bye for now. See ya.